Hey, this is Movie Edge, and this is my 2018 Christmas movie collection. Got the Christmas tree in back. Last year I had a little inky dinky tree. This year my wife put um, a regular full size tree in the office and slash movie room because my movie stuff is right over there. If you can't see it, it's off, it's off camera. All right. But um, this year, got some new stuff in here, here and there. I got like four or five new titles throughout the year. So you'll see some new stuff that wasn't in last year's video. So without further ado, let's get started with Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving starts off Christmas, basically. And um, of course, you got Black Friday in there. Black Friday and Christmas go together. Um, I'm going to start off with a John Hughes movie. And it is planes, trains, and automobiles with a lenticular slip. This was an exclusive from Best Buy. Didn't get it when it first came out. I actually got this on um, eBay. I found it for a darn good price. And uh, the inside artwork is different. All right. Uh, the good thing about this uh, release is many years, this was on Blu-ray and DVD for that matter. And they didn't include the deleted scene, Airplane Food. And it was always on TV, that scene, uh, when it was released um, to television. But I guess the movie, seeing it's 92 minutes, they had to add in a little bit more to make it the full two hours. So they added that deleted scene in. Not a really big scene, but it's funny. You know, I'm not going to really tell you about it. You have to actually get the Blu-ray to find the deleted scene and check it out. As Plain Trains and All Meals. Next is an animated film called The Rebirds. And this is a time travel movie about turkeys going to the first Thanksgiving and trying to change it. Why do we eat turkeys? Why do they eat turkeys on Thanksgiving, you know? And, um, well, it's, it is actually a really, um, really damn good movie. As Owen Wilson... Woody Harrelson and Amy Poehler doing the voices. So if you haven't checked this one out yet, yeah, do so. Finally, another John Hughes production. Um, this is one of my favorite Thanksgiving movies as well. It ties with Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. It is Dutch. A lot of people compare this to Planes, Trains, and Automobiles because it's pretty much the same thing. They try to get home and a lot of crap happens to them and there you go. Uh, Ed O'Neill, uh, Ethan Randall, which another movie will be coming up with him a little bit later. But uh, yeah, they made a great team in this movie. Yeah, Ed O'Neill, great on Modern Family. If you like my Modern Family, you'll love this movie if you never checked it out. Now, it is out of print on uh, Blu-ray. I don't know about the DVD, but you might be able to find it if you look on Amazon hard enough. That was my three um, Thanksgiving movies. Uh, next, we're going to go to movies, a couple of movies here that, well, they're not exactly Christmas movies. They're more or less movies that revolve around Christmas. They're, it's the Christmas time and stuff like that. And I'm talking about the two Die Hard movies. Uh, Die Hard 1. And Die Hard 2, Die Harder. The other two had nothing to do with Christmas. Um, one had to do with the 4th of July. That was the fourth one. And this one is Summer. Uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. And this one, they go to Russia, which is probably the worst one out of all of them. But uh, yeah, I got this from the Nakatomi uh, Plaza set this box set. You can actually get this on Amazon uh, by itself too. It's called something else. I forgot what it's called, but it's a good set. So, yeah. Die Hard. Christmas movie, not Christmas movie. Die Hard 2. Christmas movie or not Christmas movie. Leave a message below. Alright? Okay. Next is another movie that this is new for my collection too. Uh, I don't consider this a, a Christmas movie, 
because it wasn't it wasn't shot towards people like a Christmas movie. It was basically um, just you know shot towards people as a comedy, and it's a uh, why him. But when you watch the movie, it has to deal with Christmas vacation and his daughter's home from college or whatever. She wants to meet his new her new boyfriend and blah blah blah. And uh, you know James Franco and Brian Cranston really worked good together in this movie. It was funny, um, you know. And uh, all I got to say, Cedric the Entertainer is in here too. Um, who else? Uh, don't recognize the name, but uh, I can't think of the girl's name. Oh, well. but anyway, comedy ensues throughout this whole movie, and uh, it's basically a Christmas movie, but not really advertised as a Christmas movie. All right, that was why him. Next, I'm actually going to start going through. Yeah, I'll get these done first. Um, this is another new release, and this was recommended by um, Alan Kermit's Ghost Channel on YouTube. It is uh, the man who invented Christmas. Um, yeah, and um, it's the story of Charles Dickens. Shows how Charles Dickens' real life inspired the book that he wrote, and. Uh, yeah, I want to check this out soon. Um, maybe, well, um, Christmas Eve, my wife and me are going to be all by ourselves. So we might check out a whole bunch of Christmas movies at night. So, yeah, that one's going to be um, on my top list. Next, a movie I have not seen, but it is new to the list too. Daddy's Home 2. Starring uh, Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg, John Lithgow... Mel Gibson, and John Cena. You can't see me. All right, I won't do that again. But, uh, yeah, this is a Christmas movie. And the first one had nothing to do with Christmas. This one, Christmas. So I might check this one out. Uh, also, um, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I don't know. Um, here's one. That I checked out was it last year. I got it. And um, yeah, the late great Robin Williams and uh, Joel McHale. Got uh, Laura Graham in it uh, from Bad Santa. Uh, Clark Duke from um, such movies as Hot Tub Time Machine and Sex Drive and uh, last season of The Office. Uh, Oliver Platt, he's hilarious. Um, Candice Bergen, yeah. So this movie is, mm, it's not rated on here. There's no rating. It says not rated. But it is a fun movie. It's these people from Chicago that go up to, um, I don't know if it's Canada or Wisconsin. I, I, I don't know. It doesn't actually explain it. But they're from Chicago and they go up somewhere else and, uh, all this crazy stuff ensues, and Rob Williams was like the best in this movie. He is funny, just classic Rob Williams. Next, no um, Christmas collection is complete without National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and I have my National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation shirt on with the uh, many expressions of Clark W. Griswold. Yeah, had to work for this video. Forgot where the hat is, the Santa hat, but I got the shirt, so. Yeah, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Another John Hughes produced movie. And uh, if you haven't seen this ever, I highly recommend you check it out. And it's just, if you like the other vacation movies, you'll love this. Because, yeah, it's... Chevy Chase at his best. Um, no artwork or something. I do have this on another set. It's all four... Yeah, all four movies. Uh, it's a UK set. It was really dirt cheap. So I got it. And um, But I wanted a single release like this with the artwork and everything. So, yeah. 
And um, that's about that. I love the theme song to this. That theme song was awesome. Okay, now we're going to get into some uh, uh, Christmas raunchiness movies. Uh, first one I seen first time last year. I bought it before that, but yeah, it's um, the night before. I actually had this before. I bought it from Family Video. They put those little stickers around the center of the disc, and I guess there's, you know, certain artwork on this disc. I'll show you right now. Okay, that's the artwork. So there is no space here. Um, it's just a little bit of space. Usually the sticker goes where there's no, nothing here. So I tried to take it off with some Goo Gone or some uh, a really light, um, that uh, pen that I use all the time to take stickers off. And usually it works perfectly. This one ripped the paint off in this whole section and the disc wouldn't play because there's data on the discs. Just because you're cleaning one side, there's data on the disc and it reads it and it screwed up the disc. So I had to buy a new one uh, last year when it went on sale. The uh, slip cover, I think I got from a YouTuber when they were selling their slip covers and uh, that made it complete. So yeah, I, ha I had to get the slip cover. If the thing would fit back in here, that'd be excellent. Nope, doesn't want to go. So, you know what? Later, we'll deal with that. Next, get two raunchy, raunchy movies in here. They're fun, but not for kids. And that is Pad Santa, the unrated version, and the director's cut. I prefer the unrated version because it's longer. Director's Cut, I don't think I've ever seen. Uh, this, Billy Bob Thornton, Tony Cox, and of course, Laura Graham is in it. I told you I was going to get to her again. And rest in peace, John Ritter and Bernie Mac. I can't believe they're gone. This movie's not that old. And then, this one I seen last year, Bad Santa 2. I seen this on cable first, then I bought it, because I was hesitant about this one. It's actually pretty more raunchy than the first and it has um some new people in it it has uh billy bob oh kathy bates um the rest of the people i do not recognize but it does have new people in the cast um the kid is all grown up here and i will be showing another movie that he was in for christmas a little later on in this video. So that was Bad Santa 1, Bad Santa 2, both unrated. Both worth checking out. Now, another raunchy movie that's actually really raunchy. Harold Kumar, uh, a very Harold and Kumar uh, 3D Christmas. When this was out at the theater, I don't think it did anything really. But uh, there's some really nasty scenes in here. And, uh, yeah. But if you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, it's, the, it's the unrated version. It's the extended cut. Uh, I do have... Uh, see, the, the DVD that came with it is a flipper disc. Don't know why. And then the 3D is this one. I do have this on another set. I bought this tin set it looks like a lighter when you open it up it came with that all three movies in the set so i got it on there as well because i wanted the first two and that one and i like that tin that it came in so there you go next movie um has to do with chicago it was filmed in parts of chicago the ex the exterior parts and there was a couple scenes in there with um the main stars, uh, Jason Bateman and um, T.J. Miller. I'm talking about Offer's Christmas Party. It's the unrated version. Um, great cast. Jason Bateman, Olivia Mung. Yeah, yeah. Uh, T.J. Miller, uh, Julian Bell, Vanessa Bear, 
from Saturday Night Live. Uh, Rob Corddry. Uh, who else? Kate McKinnon from Saturday Night Live. Jennifer Aniston is in there as well. I seen this movie last year. And, well, actually not last year. Actually, I bought this. I seen it on cable. Then I bought it. Off of, uh, I think this was a, yeah, it was a family video release. Hmm. Yeah, family video release of uh, Offer's Christmas Party. And, uh, you know, wasn't impressed with this movie. Wasn't that funny. I liked bits of it. I thought it was a good raunchy movie, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know, I thought it was going to be raunchiness up but, but no, it wasn't. And uh, kind of disappointed that not all this movie was filmed in Chicago. Had a deal with Chicago. They worked in Chicago, but this movie was actually filmed, most, most of it was filmed in Georgia on sets. So, whatever. Office Christmas Party. Check it out if you want to see a good comedy. Just a laugh. Shut your brain off. For Christmas, Office Christmas Party on Rated. Next, uh, two horror movies. First one I seen last year, and it is Krampus. I got the Christmas, um, I got the special Christmas cover one. I didn't like the other cover, but this one looked better uh, with the snow and stuff. There's one that's uh, the house and it's dark. Yeah, but this one I like kind of better. And uh, this movie is not really scary. It's more um, humorous. Um, there's some jump scares, but they're fun. Um, and yeah, there's some... Uh, there's a point to the end of this movie. There's a very big point that Krampus makes at the end of this movie to the kid. And um, you have to say it. To understand. If you've seen it already, you'll know what I'm talking about. This one I'm going to watch this year on New Year's, uh, New Year's, Christmas Eve, and that is, uh, better watch out. If anyone's seen this, leave a comment below, tell me how good it is. Um, this came out last year, Well Go USA, and uh, yeah, I can't really comment on it because I didn't see it, but it was a DVD Blu-ray set. Hmm. It's kind of late to the party on this because I really wanted it with a slip and by the time I ordered it, the slips were gone and it was supposed to come with some kind of postcards inside or something, but didn't. So that's a horror movie we're going to check out this year. Alright. Next, let's do some Disney, baby. Yeah, we're going to get some Disney ones. This is new to the collection. This is uh, something I had on uh, DVD. But, um, in fact, I do have it on DVD right here. <laughs> this is the DVD version. This is the Blu-ray version. This is the um, Disney Movie Club exclusive, which has no special features on it. But it is all region. You can buy it. Even though it's all region... You have to have someone in the U.S. buy it if you're in uh, the U.K. or other parts of Europe. Yeah. The DVD, on the other hand, had special features on it. Theatrical trailer, French language track. That's about it. But the quality on the, on the DVD is also very good. Boring disc inside. But, uh... Yeah, Jonathan Taylor Thomas did a really good job uh, at this Christmas movie. It's fun, and you've got a young, um, a young uh, Jessica Alba in here. Uh, Gary Cole's in this. Um, eh, that's all I recognize. But you have to check this out. You know, if you're part of the Disney Movie Club, see it in four, see it in uh, HD. Better. Um, yeah, so that's one from uh, Disney. If I can close it, there it goes. Next from Disney. This one's been out of print for a long time until 
Disney Movie Club decided to reissue it, and um, I'm talking about Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, and um, this is actually not the right as aspect ratio. It's originally was on VHS is 4.3, and this is um, widescreen. So they kind of enhanced it, made it look better. Uh, it's all region, in case you're wondering. Don't know if you can find this at stores. Um, but um, it's well worth checking out if you're a Beauty and the Beast fan. Animation's not too bad for a made for, you know, um, movie, made for video movie. Um, they did make other Beauty and the Beast ones, but those are not on DVD yet, or Blu ray for that matter. So, this is the only one that was a sequel. All right. Stacking them high. Let's move the table. Um, okay, Ernest. No, not Ernest. Well, you know what? Since I said it, <laughs> Ernest Saves Christmas. One of my favorites. Since I've seen this movie, it was beautifully filmed. It's um, Ernest's first movie from Touchstone Pictures. Jim Varney, rest in peace. This one is well worth checking out. Now, my boring disc is from Touchstone Pictures, but Disney owns it, of course. Um, special features, there aren't any. Uh, but, you know what? I think there is a trailer on here, if I'm not mistaken. But if you're a fan of Ernest, get your hands on a DVD copy. Who knows? Maybe... They will release this on Kino Labber because Kino Labber owns the rights to the Buena Vista movies like Touchstone and Hollywood now. So they might put the Ernest collection out there. One can only hope, right? So that was Ernest Saves Christmas. The next one is Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a 20th anniversary edition. And... Uh, all the special features are the same, except for, oh, there's like one missing. There's a newer version of this, which I do have in my collection, but I decided to keep this as well, because it's just different artwork, um, and basically all the rest of it's the same. Boring discs, but uh, who hasn't seen this movie yet? Do I really have to explain it? No. Is it a Halloween movie or is it a Christmas movie? It starts out on Halloween, works its way to Christmas, so it could be both. Yeah. Uh, next, a uh, really good version of A Christmas Carol. That's Mickey's Christmas Carol. Um, they could have done a better job at restoring and remastering the sound and the picture on this. The picture's kind of flat, you know, boring. This is a feature at... I don't know what movie this is before. If anyone knows, down below, comment. Um, it's all region. And uh, there is shorts on here. Uh, there is Yodelberg. Uh, there's hockey, the Hockey Champs. Uh, Pluto's Christmas Tree, The Artist Skating, and Corn Chips. Which basically there are maybe like two about Christmas. And the rest are all like winter shorts yeah uh there's some sing-along stuff on here as well um but it's well worth picking up and uh there's actually a um limited uh, not limited but there is a a movie club exclusive disney movie club exclusive right now that comes with a slip cover we a whole slip cover it's the same it's the same release though Okay, next, this, one of my favorites, and it's a uh, Robert Zemeckis film. Did he direct this? Yes, he did. And it is A Christmas Carol with Tim Curry. Tim Carey, not Curry. Tim Carey, and um, this, is a, this is a motion capture film where all the stars in there, where they would act, they capture them in the computer, and uh, that's how they made the animation. 
this movie is just fantastic. Uh, I, I wouldn't really let younger kids watch this movie because there's some scary images in there. Um, yes, did win an award for, um, I don't know, it just says a, the Heartland Award. Yeah, Heartland Award, it won an award for that. And um, it is, um, what kind of special features, behind the, behind the scenes features, and you got the Countdown to Christmas interactive calendar, uh, plus all DVD bonus features, which I don't know what that is. Um, I don't see any shorts on here, but if you haven't checked this movie out, this is a great one great version of A Christmas Carol as well with uh, Jim Carrey got his name right this time alright next this is actually a new release that came out um, around Thanksgiving time Black Friday-ish I don't know but it's Olaf's Frozen Christmas originally this was originally this was played before Coco last year for a limited time, um, and uh, people were like, "Oh man, how am I? I want to get a copy of that." But they showed it on ABC uh, the week before Christmas, or the week at, uh, the week of Christmas. I don't remember. It's a really good featurette. It's about twenty-two minutes, something like that. But it's a really good featurette, and. Um, yeah, and it also comes with shorts that uh, are on uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol, uh, except for like one, I think. Uh, Polar, Polar Trappers, Winter, um, The Hockey Champs, The Art of Skiing, those two are already on one desk already. Um, Once Upon a Winter Time and Pluto's Christmas Tree. So some of these were released already on Blu-ray, but it's just great to have those shorts. Um, mostly winter-related shorts, not Christmas. Uh, and I think that's it. So, uh, if you haven't checked this one out yet, it's a well-worth-checking-out um, feature. Uh, featurette, actually. 22 minutes. Keeps an attention span of the kids. Um, yeah, so there you go. Another little Christmas, uh, 22 minute, uh, uh, movie, I guess you want to call it, uh, that was shown one year was, uh, Toy Story of, um, Toy Story That Time Forgot. This is a Christmas 22 minute, um, episode, short, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's all region. And uh, this was only released to TV on ABC. But the quality is theatrical quality, pretty much. Uh, bonus features. It has an animated opening uh, for the fictional TV show Battle uh, Saurus. And uh, what tells Origins of the Battle World. So it's just characters that are in the movie and some stuff in there. Uh, Toy Story goes to Comic-Con. And karaoke videos. Uh, you got deleted scenes, commentary, and more. So it is well worth picking up. Uh, as far as a Christmas movie is concerned, uh, it's very light on the Christmas theme. But it's still good. It's still good. If you're a Pixar fan, I highly recommend you pick it up. Next, I'm going to get into another good version of A Christmas Story, or of Christmas Carol, and that is Muppets Christmas Carol. This one was put out by Disney. Of course, it doesn't say the year on it. Uh, 2012 was the Blu-ray release. And um, this movie itself is very, very well done. The only problem with this on Blu-ray is they're missing a deleted scene. Um, with, uh, who was in here? Michael Caine. 
There's a scene with Michael Caine singing, and it was a deleted cut. And I know why they cut it because it slowed down. It slowed down the tempo of the movie. And um, I have it. I bought it especially for a double pack right there. Right there. If you see that artwork on a disc or on the um, DVD, it has the extended cut, which kind of sucks because it's not in widescreen, and it has the regular theatrical cut. And the extended cut does have the deleted scene on it. Um, the Blu-ray is fine. Um, it doesn't exactly tell you the extended scene, uh, the extended version of the movie, but I think it's like probably 90 minutes, and the original theatrical is 86, if I had a guess. Um, so yeah, I mean... If you're looking for both versions, you're not going to find it on Blu-ray. You're going to have to get the DVD. And um, it's well worth tracking down. Muppets Christmas Carol from a Disney. Uh, keeping in that Muppets theme, this is a movie that um, pretty much MGM originally put this out on DVD with NBC. And I guess... The rights went to Universal um, and NBC because it's on a Universal now, not an MGM. So I guess they sold the rights to them to put it out. This is a made-for-TV movie, um, a very, a very merry um, Muppet Christmas movie. And uh, this one's fun. It's got a good cast. It's got Whoopi Goldberg. It's got uh, Hank Azarian, it's got Joan Cusack, and uh, who else is in here? Uh, David Arquette, uh, William H. Basie, Matthew Lillard. Um, yeah, so if you haven't seen this one, it's, it's, it's actually theatrical quality widescreen. So, I mean, quality-wise, it's good. Story-wise... Uh, falls flat, in my opinion, next to A Muppet's Christmas Carol. So, yeah, that's that. What I'm going to start on next, I'm going to do some animation ones. From DreamWorks, mostly. Uh, this one I've seen. I think I got this on Amazon. I'm not quite sure where I got it, but this is Arthur Christmas. People have been finding this on and off at Big Lots for a cheap price and um, contains a 2D, 3D version. I just got this because it was dirt cheap. Um, it's an all region, in case you're wondering. Columbia Pictures put it out and Sony Animation. When I first seen this movie, it blew me away how funny it was. And um, yeah, and it's just you got the inner artwork art on the discs at least if I can unclick that see different art on all the discs so yeah if you haven't checked out Arthur Christmas check it out if you find the 3d copy hey go for it next another um, DreamWorks movie that revolves around some Christmas characters and other holidays I consider it more watchable at Christmas time because it has Jack Frost as the main character, and that is uh, Rise of the Guardians. Great movie. Blew me away the first time I seen it. I'm like, this is a great story. And um, I don't know what year this came out at the theater. Um, 2012. And it is a great movie. This one's also been seen at Big Lots, the 3D version and the 2D version. So if you haven't seen this movie yet, and it's region A locked, but if you haven't seen this movie yet, I highly recommend to pick this one up. It's great. It doesn't even have you don't even have to have kids in the house. It's just a great animated movie. Alright, this one is kind of out of print. If you could find it, it'll be on like Probably 
uh, eBay. You might find them on Amazon, but it is the, uh, I got this used, but it was in pristine condition. And that is, um, what's this called? Holiday Classics, DreamWorks Holiday Classics. The only released this one year on Blu-ray, which is stupid because I'd rather own the Blu-ray than the DVDs separate. You got Trek the Halls, you got Mary Madagascar, you got Dragon, Dragons, The Gift and the Night Fury, and then you got, um, then you got uh, Short, The Penguins in a Christmas Caper, which is about a 17 minute short. It's not, it's not a, um, a full episode uh, like the other ones were all 22 minutes. That one's basically... I want to say not even 16 minutes, maybe like 13, 14 minutes. But for a short of that, you know, it's pretty long. So, uh, yeah, if you ever see this one, I like I use records, I'll use like movie store or whatever, I highly recommend you pick this up. It did come with DVD Blu ray, and uh, this is about the time that. Um, this was a time that Paramount was distributing their stuff. Um, I think. Wasn't it? I don't know. But I think it was around the time Paramount was distributing their stuff. Now, 20th Century Fox distributes their stuff. Okay. Next is another out of print one, but you can find this on DVD. Um, it is um, Kung Fu Panda Holiday. Why this was only released once on Blu-ray, then discontinued only to be released on DVD, I don't know. There's special features on here that um, have nothing to do with Christmas, but uh, if you could see that, there you go. Uh, this is another 22-minute... Uh, Actually, 25 minutes. Yeah, 25 minutes. It was on TV originally, and then it went to uh, the video. Boring discs again. I think these were done by Paramount as well. No, I, it doesn't say it on here. Um, yeah, well, whatever. That's another good one to pick up and, and search for. Um animated movie that is not that is not <laughs> DreamWorks and that is Tom Hanks Polar Express uh, also a Robert Zemeckis film direct, directed by Robert Zemeckis just like uh, A Christmas Carol that he made with Tim Carey or Jim Carey if I said Tim Carey Tim Carey I apologize. I probably did. But uh, Jim Carrey, um, this one was made with Tom Hanks doing a, um, doing like a lot of uh, the uh, acting in it. Motion capture again. All the kids in this one motion capture everything. Great movie if you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, it's a great movie. You don't just have to be a kid to watch this one. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's one that I found. I had put away, and I forgot I had it. It is uh, He Managed Era's Christmas Special. And what this was, was actually, you go to Big Lots, and when you check out, they have this display of um, Christmas DVDs. And they're all in, like, these... Uh, packaging that looks like a snow globe ottoman kind of thing and this was in there for a dollar my wife was like sure let's just get it and uh yeah so christmas special i haven't seen this thing in years so might be time for me to check it out again next this one i did get it was a christmas special at one point because there's christmas decoration artwork on it and it has Ice Age, I changed the milk, I mean, no, Ice Age, 
Ice Age to Meltdown, Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaur, and Ice Age Continental Drift, the four movies. Yes, there was five, and when they put that out, I was kind of pissed. But anyway, um, they also added in a Mammoth Christmas special, which was a good deal, because you're getting all three of those movies, you're getting all four of those movies, you get the special as well, and you have to buy it separate. So I decided, yeah, I'll do that. Um, that special also came in 3D, and um, once in a great while you'll be able to find that at like um, Big Lots and um, I want to say Big Lots or Half Price Books, some places like that might still have them. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to the classics. Yes, the classics. I'm going to start off with one that um, is brand new to collection. Seen it before in uh, Turner Classic Movies. And that is Barbara Stanwyck uh, in um, Christmas in Connecticut. Found this at Big Lots summertime, around the summertime or something like that. Um, and I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to get it. It's, it was five bucks. So I figured before it disappears, I'll grab a copy. And um, it uh, has special features, a vintage Oscar winning short star in the night, and a theatrical trailer, which I haven't seen yet, those specials. But uh, if you haven't checked this movie out, check it out. It is a classic. Next, another new one that I got from Hamilton Books because it was on sale. And, um, yeah, it is Holiday Inn. This is not the version I wanted. The version I wanted came with a, um, a slip cover and a bonus um, music sampler with songs from Bing Crosby and, and other artists and stuff. So that one I couldn't find. So this, for about five-something it was, I, you know, I said, yeah, yeah I'll go for it. It's a universal, so it's all region. Yeah, it's an hour and 41 minutes, so it's fairly well. This one is one of my favorites. Um, ever since they originally put this on TV, um, every year I kind of, I, if I flip through channels and I see it's on, I'll watch it. And that's Irving Berlin's. Oh, same with this Irving Berlin Holiday Inn. Irving Berlin, um, White Christmas with Dean, with Tanny Kay and Bing Crosby. I was going to say Dean Martin, but no. Um, and um, this one was the version I wanted because it came with a 12, a bonus 12 song um, Christmas CD sung by the stars of the movie and uh, some other people as well um, I'll show you what the inside looks like it's just DVD uh, I think there's a DVD in here I'll show you what the inside looks like um, this is the CD sampler right here the CD little thing came like that it was actually um, attached to the back of this uh, with that glue kind of thing which I want to get another disc where this will fit in perfectly. But uh, you got the uh, Blu-ray and you got the DVD and this is the special features on DVD. So you got a three disc set here plus the bonus music CD. So it is well worth getting. If you could still find it, get it. That was from um, Paramount. Yeah, Diamond Edition, uh, Diamond Anniversary Edition. Next, this one I'm kind of disappointed in because uh, when it came out, this one's also put out by Paramount. This changed hands so many times that now it's got its copyright back, but still people can put this out because it lost its copyright a long time ago, but Paramount's the only one really that has rights over their restored 
uh, copy and it's also under Republic Pictures and it's a wonderful life and uh, there's also a colorized version of the film in here which I didn't see I don't really care to see that in color it's meant to be in black and white uh, this movie came out in 1946 and in 1946 when this came out um, surprisingly it was a Frank Capra film and he was a really great he's a really great director I have almost all of his movies it didn't do anything at the box office it was a movie that bombed just didn't do anything and for years just not on anywhere not on TV not on anywhere uh, then it came to VHS and Laserdisc and people started watching it and liking it so PBS stations like here in Chicago you had um, uh, Channel 11 used to show it uh, Channel 20 both PBS stations in Chicago, and I think Channel 56 in New, uh, in Indiana, which we could get on cable, uh, if you have a certain cable system, they did show this movie constantly. Now, it wasn't the pristine copy that you're going to get here, but hey, you know, whatever. This is the um, Platinum Anniversary Edition, which I love the, that I got the slip, but there was... A version of this that I missed out on that had came with um, I want to say their um, little lobby cards which is a shame because I would really love to have those as collectibles but oh well I got it I got the slip cover at least and it is beautiful mint and can't complain next this is a remake of a classic but it's done by the John Hughes. It's John Hughes Productions. Um, he produced it, screenplay by, and so on. But he didn't direct it. Um, it is uh, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, um, starring. Uh, I can't find his name on here. But he is from Jurassic Park. If you know his name, leave it below. Um, but I know he was from Jurassic Park. And uh, he plays Santa in this movie. And he really did an excellent job. And, um, yeah. I know Elizabeth Perkins was in this movie as well. And this was from 1994. So, it's been a while since this one came out of the theaters. Um, Region A lacked. But I think this is all over the world. So... Yeah, you have the uh, Blu-ray disc with artwork. You have the DVD disc with artwork. And the digital with the artwork. So, yeah. Of course, the digital is expired. Yeah. I have to get the original one of this, which I probably do after Christmas when prices go down. That's when I usually buy my Christmas movies. January. Because prices go down, they're trying to get rid of their stock. So... Miracle on 34th Street. Miracle on 34th Street, the remake. Um, next is another classic. Well, in my opinion, it's a classic. It's a movie you wouldn't think was a Christmas movie, but it is. It happens to Christmas time. And it is uh, The Lemon Drop Kid with Bob Hope. It's from Kino Lorber. And it is um, a movie about him being a racetrack trout he tries to like um, uh, he tries to scam people and sell them uh, racetrack sheets that were from the day before that the horses that won and people didn't know that and he scammed them out of money and they bought it off him and uh, yeah so he loses a lot of money the mobs after him in uh, Florida I guess that was where originally he was Florida and then he went to uh, New York to hide out for a while but the mobs there too and so he tries first to um, make money he got this idea to make a charity to look like um, Salvation Army and to have the pots ringing the bells and taking the money from people and then paying back the mob but that didn't work out. So second idea he had was um, 
to get his buddies together, get a, a room and board going for elderly women, and uh, the elderly women would stay there and pay them rent once a month or whatever. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a con man trying to do a good deed by the end of the movie. And uh, there is one Christmas song in here. It's the Christmas classic Silver Bell, sung by Bob Hope and Marilyn Maxwell. Marilyn Maxwell is... Uh, the co-star of this movie and um, it's a great version of it okay so that is the lemon drop kit if you find it I highly recommend pick it up it's a hidden gem with uh, Bob Hope uh, coming up next let's do some modern classics such as Eight Crazy Nights. Now, there's a lot of hate about this movie because right now a lot of people hate Adam Sandler because he's putting out uh, a lot of stuff that they don't like. Well, you know what? That's your opinion. This movie was awesome. Okay, great animation, great cast. You have Adam Sandler, you had Kevin Nealon in it, you had uh, Alan Corbett. Um, you had, uh, who was it, uh, Rob Schneider, John Lovitz, um, some other people in here, but it's not listed. This was a great animated movie, um, mainly shot towards adults, not, not to kids, but um, 76 minutes, and uh, it, it brings the Jewish tradition and the, and the uh, Christmas tradition together. So anybody could watch this movie. He, Adam Sandler did the voices about maybe like four or five characters in it. You got artwork on disc one, and that is the widescreen version. Artwork on disc two, and that's a full screen version. And then you got this, which has all the track listings on it, which they don't do anymore. And uh, the other side just shows other... Uh, Adam Sandler movies and Rob Schneider movie. Um, the great thing about this is I got it when it first came out. I don't know if it ever came with a slip. If it did, tell me below. But I loved the blue case that they used. Stood out. So yeah, this movie is excellent. I don't care what anyone says about Adam Sandler. But he does make some really good, funny comedies. And this one was from... I want to say it's from, it is, it's from 2002, and uh, yeah, just great Christmas movie to check out, all right? Next, everyone has this in their collection, and I'm going to take it out of the sleeve first, and that is the Home Alone 1 and 2. Now, I got this version because it was cheaper. It was $9.99 um, after Christmas sale. So I got them. Don't like the artworks on the, slit, uh, on the uh, actual cases. They should have used the, um, what is it? the actual poster art. And uh, But, you know, they're both classics. I don't even have to explain these. Those are that damn good. Um, right now, there is a parody that um, Google put out, and you can look it up, and it has Macaulay Culkin. I think it's the original house that they filmed the movie in, and um, it's like a throwback little parody, but he's grew up, he grew up, now he's got all this technology, and um, it's, it's, a funny, it's a funny commercial, and it's... Um, Oh my god, it's on a, uh, I want to say it's on, it was on YouTube, that's where I seen it, so check it out, it's a parody of the Home Alone thing from Google. Next, let me get his name right this time, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, um, yeah, this is the second movie that came out, uh, 
Yeah, second movie in this Christmas collection. Jim Carrey as the Grinch. Love this movie. It's actually really funny. Um, it is an instant classic. This was directed by Ron Howard, I want to say. Uh, yeah, directed by Ron Howard. Yeah, this I loved. And it's, you know, got some crude humor in there. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's a really good um, family movie to check out with your, with your kids. And um, every year a new version of this comes out with the same disc. Steel books. And, and they have one... Walmart right now where you could buy this. It'll look exactly the same but a thicker box and has a keychain in it of the Grinch. Yeah. Uh, Want to see the new Grinch movie from the creators of uh, Despicable Me and um, I want to check it out but I just we don't have time to go to the theater. So maybe I'll wait until it gets on on video. Next Bill Murray man. Scrooge. This is a classic version, again, of A Christmas Carol. And it's done from 1988. It has uh, such cast as Karen Allen from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, da -da -da. Bob Cat Goldwaith is in here. Carol Kane, Robert Mitchum. Um, and uh, Buddy Hackett makes a small appearance in this as well. And Danny Elfman did actually the musical score for this. It is a... Uh, starts out as a comedy, but as you progress in the movie, it gets a little bit serious. Uh, oh, yeah, also Am Ran... Am... Wait a minute, no, that's... Is it Ann Ramsey? I think Ann Ramsey's in this movie, too. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, she has a small part. Ann Ramsey from... Uh, throw Mama from the Train. Um, this movie, when I originally bought it, was factory sealed, but it had a double case. And I'm like, why? So I did just buy the DVD. I'm like, well, I have the DVD. I'll just put it in there. It's the original DVD. And that, so made a combo out of it. Kill two birds with one stone. All right. Next, this is a gem that uh, I checked out was either a year or two years ago. I don't remember. What year did this come out? Uh, da, 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 da. What year is this? 2014. Okay. And I was watching Alan of Kermit's Ghost Channel do his Christmas re uh, collection. I think it was last year, and that movie really intrigued me. I was talking about it. I'm like, oh, I have to check that out. And it is Get Santa. Because the cast, um, well, I love Warwick Davis from all the Star Wars stuff he did. He was in Harry Potter. He was in other movies. And um, he's not in most of this movie. He's in, like, little parts of it, but he was hilarious. And, um, yeah, it... Uh, it's a British comedy, and uh, but the good thing is it's from Warner Brothers, so if you really want it, you can get it because it's all region. Um, I highly recommend to get this. Um, it is hilarious. I love the premise where Santa Claus, uh, he gets locked up in jail, but you got to actually watch the movie to find out why. I'm not going to tell you anymore, but uh, it's a great movie. You can find this in the States. I know it was sold at... Um, uh, Walmart as a um, DVD exclusive, but as Blu-ray, you have to buy it on Amazon. A Amazon US might carry this too. I don't know, but it's a UK import. Next, what do I have to say about this? Elf, Will Ferrell, uh, good cast. Uh, Zoe Deschanel. Mary Steenburgen, Ed Asner, Bob Newhart. It's hilarious in this movie. And uh, John Favreau um, actually directed this. 
and he did a good job. And um, uh, it has a lot of special features on here. Commentary by Will Farrow and John Favreau, the director. Deleted and alternative scenes. Behind the scenes. Um, so I think there's special, uh, special, special feature kind of thing in there as well. Uh, Elf karaoke theatrical trailer. Yeah. So this is a great movie to actually check out every year for kids or adults. The scene that always gets me is um, the one where he's eating pasta with syrup on it. My teeth just cringe just watching that scene. You know? Uh, yeah. Okay. Elf. This is one of two Vince Vaughn Christmas movies I have. First one being, wait, let me see the reverse time here. Um, what's the years of these? Uh, one came before the other. Oh, well, don't know. But uh, this is uh, Four Christmases. The first time I seen this was a couple years ago, and I didn't really care for it. So I decided to you know, find it cheap, and I found it at, uh, where did I find this? Um, Second and Charles, I found this. No, I didn't. I didn't find it at Second and Charles. I found it at, uh, Amazon for dirt cheap, and, uh, this movie really didn't do it for me, but second viewing, it did. It was funny. Um, John Favreau's in it, um, Uh, Tim McGraw, Dwight, Yo Dwight Yoakam, Mary Steenburgen is again in this movie. Uh, Robert Duvall, Reese Witherspoon. And Reese Witherspoon and, and Vince Vaughn, they don't have any chemistry in this movie at all. You know, it's also taking place in Chicago. This movie was filmed in Chicago. And uh, the next Vince Vaughn movie was actually filmed in Chicago. Not the whole thing, but... Yeah, this um, Fred Cro Fred Claus. One of these two movies, Vince Vaughn asked the city of Chicago to leave the um, decorations up so he could finish one of the movies. And I think it was this one where he goes back at the end and it's Christmas and they're walking down the street and he asked the city of Chicago to leave the, um, leave the uh, decorations up so he could finish the ending of this movie. Um, I'm pretty sure it was this one. And um, this one's actually a really fun movie. And um, Paul Giamatti and um, Vince Vaughn, really good job. This is actually the um, the Canadian version. Found this, this one I found at Second and Charles. And yes, I'm still pissed that Second and Charles around us is closing. So, sadness. Uh, but that's for another day. Uh... Yeah, so that is Fred Claus with Vince Vaughn. The stacks are just going to fall over. All right. Uh, next, there's another movie that bombed at the box office in, I want to say, 83 when this came out. 1983. It's bombed at the box office. And uh, it was directed by... And produced by Bob Clark, the director of the original Porky's movies. And um, it is A Christmas Story. Now it's a classic. And they even made a um, part two to it. And God, don't see that. Don't see that. It's like having cramps in your stomach and you can't go to the bathroom. That's how bad the, num the second one of this is. The I just seen it yesterday. They showed it on Fox. The live... Uh, musical which was recorded last year but that one's pretty decent it's got a decent cast in it and um, that one's worth checking out if you like musicals didn't do that well either it kind of bombed but yeah um, Christmas story what else can be said 
It's a classic from the 80s. It bombed. Showed on TV. Does very well. Another, another, another movie I didn't really care for it the first time I seen it. I had to watch it again. Deck the Halls with Matthew Broderick and Danny DeVito. And who else is in this movie? Nobody I recognize. And this one is about decorating their houses and winning a contest and stuff. But um, is it a great Christmas movie? Not really. It's like one of those one-time watches. And if it's on TV, you flip new channels, you watch. But my opinion, yeah. Here's a classic for you. Schwarzenegger doing a comedy. Christmas comedy. Jingle All the Way. It's a family fun edition. And uh, this one was from... No. Yeah, 1996 this came out. came out on Blu-ray in 2008. So, yeah. It was on video cassette at one point. Uh, I think it was on Laserdisc. And, uh, yeah, DVD and then Blu-ray. Um, extended uh, director's cut, which I seen, I really didn't notice the difference, really, but uh, it's interesting, and um, they don't even have the time listed on here for the director's cut, you know, uh, the making of a hero featurette, super kid featurette, turbo man behind the mask featurette, so... This is well worth checking out if you're a Schwarzenegger fan and you like his comedy stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, getting down to the wire. Yes. These are all my wife's Christmas picks. One that she wanted to see, which I got dirt cheap uh, from... Uh, uh, I got dirt cheap from... Um, Wow, I'm drawing a blank here. Uh, family video is um, a, um, a bad mom's Christmas. It only came with a Blu-ray, but that's all I needed. And uh, it came out, I want to say this past summer. I didn't even wait for Christmas time for to come out. It just came out fast. So this uh, movie is on cable. I've been watching it a little here and there. It looks pretty good, so on Christmas Eve, we are probably going to check this movie out. And I think this is just, just yeah, there's no unrated version of this, but it's Bad, Mom, Bad Mom's Christmas. Didn't really care for Bad Moms. Thought it was kind of eh. So I don't know what to expect from that. One of my wife's next picks kind of grew on me, and it is Love Actually. And, um, yeah, it's got, uh, Andrew Lincoln from, uh, The Walking Dead. A really young Andrew Lincoln. Hopefully he does more movies, uh, now that he's gone from The Walking Dead. Spoiler alert if you didn't know. But, yeah. But he is going to make more, uh, Walking Dead made-for-TV movies about his character. So, that's... To look forward to but I want to see him in more movies like this comedy um, it's got a great cast just got uh, Hugh Grant Liam Neeson Colin Firth Laura Lenny Emma Thompson Alan Rickman rest in peace Karen Knightley and Rowan Atkinson Mr. Bean himself and of course Andrew Lincoln which wasn't famous at the time so they didn't stick his name on anything but yes Great movie. You have to check it out. It's it's just fun. Another one of her movies that kind of grew on me as well. It's not really a Christmas movie, but it takes place during Christmas season. And that is Last Holiday. And uh, it's Queen Latifah. And who else is in this movie? Uh, LL Cool J is in this. And... Uh, yeah, that's the only names I recognize. But uh, this is from 2006. And it, it, it is a good comedy. It's very funny. It's well worth checking out. And uh, 
it's a um, Paramount movie, but at the time when the contract was going on with Paramount, Warner Brothers distributed it. That's another one of her movies right there. Um, this movie wanted to get her for Christmas. Couldn't find it on Blu-ray anywhere in the States. And I found out why. is because Canada was the only place that had the Blu-ray. And that was Just Friends. This is another movie that takes place during Christmas. Uh, like Christmas vacation time or whatever. And um, yeah. So had to order it from Canada, but it's well worth it because the DVD we had was scratched. So, got rid of that. Or maybe I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this the original DVD? No, it's not the original. Oh, it is original. Okay, I, I, I rebuffered it. Uh, so, this is the original DVD. Um... I saved it. So I did rebuffer it. I forgot. Uh, see, uh, one is from E1 Entertainment. And the other one's from New Line. Same covers almost. So, yeah. This is a great movie. Ryan Reynolds. Amy Smart. If you haven't seen it, it's a, it's a really good hidden gem. I'm going to put this up here. And this started start stack there before it falls down. This one here, I really didn't care for it. Um, I didn't really want to see it until my until my wife made me watch it on cable. And I'm like, wow, that is actually a really good movie. Jack Black, big fan of him. And uh, who else is in here? Jack Black, Edward Burns. Uh... Cameron Diaz and uh, Jude Law and uh, Kate Winslet. Um, talking about the holiday, it's an actual good movie. Uh, it's a romantic comedy, and uh, but once you watch this movie, you want to see it again every year. So it's the holiday. Mm, happens around Christmas time, so it's. One of those movies that is not exactly a Christmas movie, but it's not exactly not. It happens around Christmas time. Uh, last in her picks was uh, Love the Coopers. I actually seen parts of this on cable. I bought this for her because she wanted it. I think we found this at like a disc replay for cheap with the slip. And... Uh, yeah, she hasn't watched it yet. Oh, whatever. But the cast alone, Alan Arkin, John Goodman, Ed Helms, Diane Keaton, uh, Anthony Mackie, Amanda Shetfield, um, Marissa Tomei, Olivia Wilde, and there's some other people in here as well. And uh, didn't really find it that hilarious, that funny, but... Uh, it's a, it's a good movie to check out. Again, another movie that has to deal with Christmas, getting together um, family-wise and, you know, all the drama going on and stuff like that. So it's one of those type of movies as well. So that was all her picks from um, for Christmas movies. Now, uh, let's get through one, two, three, four... I got four DVDs to get through and one more Blu-ray. So, this is a movie that also has the kid from Bad Santa in it, Brett Kelly. What's he doing lately? I, I don't know besides he was in um, Bad Santa 2 and after that, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this really good movie. It's a bunch of miners, and there's there's flight delays, and they get stuck in this airport. And yeah, it's got a great cast, like Louis Black, William Videllirama, the the guy from um that '70s show. I still don't, I still can't pronounce his name, but um, yeah, um, 
who else? Uh, not many people I recognize. Paul Flig, Paul Flig, directed this movie, and um, it's great. If you haven't seen this movie, I recommend you check it out. No, it's not on Blu-ray, which is sad that Warner Brothers did not put this out on Blu-ray. I found this actually at a Dollar Tree for a dirt cheap price. No, not Dollar Tree, Dollar General for a dirt cheap price. The only thing that bothered me is it's a flipper disc. I hate flipper discs. Um, I think side B... Mm. Yeah, reverse side is uh, widescreen, so that's why I put that side up. That says all the information, so side B is protected. I could care less about the full screen version. But, uh, great movie. You can actually find this in a double pack still with um, Dennis the Menace Christmas and stuff. Yeah. Another movie that... Uh, I knew I was going to get to, and I explained. This one stars uh, Ethan Randall from um, Dutch and Kevin Nealon, uh, Leslie Nielsen as Santa. And I'm talking about um, All I Want for Christmas. I wanted to see this movie for the longest time. Waited and waited until this dropped because it never dropped. And it finally dropped to like four ninety nine or five ninety nine something like that on e on Amazon, and this is well worth watching. It actually won a film advisory board uh, award winning for excellence. Great movie, um, funny, uh, not what I was expecting. I thought I was expecting for a G-rated movie. I thought I was expecting real kid stuff, you know, but it didn't. The only thing that... Oh, Lauren Bacall is in here, too. The only thing that really bothers me about this movie is how it got the G rating, because there's a scene... This is 1991. There's a scene in this that... Ethan Randall here. Um, he pretty much goes to this museum. Um, don't know if this was what city this was filmed in? I think it was... I don't know. I think it was New York. But anyway, he goes to this museum. It's an art museum. And he's looking at these pictures. And he comes across this nude woman picture. And I'm talking about nude women. I'm talking about headlights and carpet. Alright? Just to be, like, gentle about it. And uh, he passes us. It's on there for a good five seconds, maybe less. But how did they manage to pass that by the MPAA? I don't know. They should have just left that scene off. Um, probably when this is played on TV, they probably cut that part out. But, uh, yeah, a full nude painting of a woman. And, yeah, don't know how to cut the G rating. If anyone knows, you tell me. Um, one movie that is my favorite uh, Tim Allen movie, which I'm missing a lot of his movies. I'm missing all three um, Santa Claus movies, which eventually I will get in a set um, when it goes down. It never seems to go down to the price that I want. Um, is Christmas with the Cranks. It's got a great cast. It's got um, Dan Aykroyd. It's got Jake Busey, the one that's not mentally off. Um, uh, M. Emmett Walsh, uh, Cheech Marin, uh, Eric Pree Sullivan from Malcolm in the Middle, kid right there, and uh, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Forgot to mention her. Um, this movie is directed by Joe Roth. And um, produced by Chris Columbus, screened by, screenplay by Chris Columbus. And um, this movie is, again, full screen, widescreen version, but it's not a flipper disc. 
Okay. Why? This is from Columbia. Columbia Pictures. Why hasn't Columbia decided to put this out on Blu-ray yet? Don't know. It should have been on Blu-ray a long damn time ago, but whatever. Tim Allen. I just got to get her all the Santa Claus movies. Uh, here's one I'm going to get hate on and messages and stuff, but um, it was at... You know, I was like four years ago, maybe three. Um, I was at a Big Lots, and they had a whole bunch of Christmas movies out. So I was going through everything, going, don't want it, don't want it, don't want it. Then I came across this. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2. Uh, this was a made-for-TV movie back in... Night or 2004, and surprisingly, surprisingly, it is a widescreen movie, and um, it's not rated because, of course, it was made for TV, and um, it it has a uh, well, you know, cousin uh, Eddie and his wife, the original characters, and it does have the original. Uh, Dana Barron, the original um, Audrey from the very first National Lampoon's movie. So that was kind of cool to see. Uh, special appearances by Eric Idle. He was also in National Lampoon's European Vacation. Fred Willard, uh, Ed Asner, and this chick alone is really hot in this movie. But she's not listening in the back. It's worth checking out. Yes. Movie wasn't that bad. I found it uh, interesting. Fun. Am I going to watch it anytime soon again? No. But maybe one year I will pop it in and... Yeah. Uh, but uh, the actual whole title of the movie is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2. Uh, Cousin Eddie's Island Adventure. Long ass title, but it has nothing to do with National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 1. It doesn't have nothing to do with it. Uh, yeah, so that is a movie that people liked or didn't like. I love, well, not love, love is a strong word. No, no, no. I kind of liked it. All right, it was entertaining. Spent an hour and a half watching it, so. Last one, last but not least, in this uh, Christmas, my um, Christmas movie collection. It's not a Christmas movie, but it is a movie about New Year's Eve. Now, this movie I've seen two years in a row on TBS. It's directed by the late Gary Marshall and produced by Gary Marshall as well. Uh, rest in peace Gary Marshall and Penny Marshall his sister and uh, I think the only one left is Frank Marshall if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they had any other siblings but New Year's Eve great cast uh, let's Let's go down the cast. Uh, you got uh, Holly Berry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John Bon Jovi. He was actually decent in this movie. Abigail Breslin. Robert De Niro. Uh, Josh Duhan. Dun, Dun, I can't pronounce his last name. Zach Efron. Hector Alexander. Actor Alexander. I know who it is. I just can't pronounce his last name. Kathleen Heigl, Aston Kircher, Kir oh, I hate his last name, and uh, Seth Meyers, Leah, Mich or Leah Michelle, don't know who that is, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, don't know who that is, Helmus, uh, Hilius, uh, Hilius, you know, <laughs> this video's gone long enough. Uh, Swank. I'm just going to say her last name. It's Swank. Uh, Severo Hergara and uh, 
freaking that's it. But great cast and um, well worth uh, checking out. And other Gary Marshall movies that he's directed, Mother's Day. If you haven't checked that one out, check that one out. And he has directed uh, another one like this. A Valentine's Day is another one that's pretty decent. And um, that's it. That's pretty much all the holiday movies I got from Thanksgiving all the way to New Year's Eve. And if there's anything that you suggest I should get in my collection, Christmas-wise, Christmas movie-wise, or maybe even Thanksgiving-wise, or New Year's Eve-wise, there's a movie I want to get Christmas Eve. I still want to get that movie. It's only on DVD. It has Patrick Stewart in it. It's actually pretty pretty good, where everyone, the power goes out and everyone gets stuck in an elevator. And pretty decent, but maybe I'll get it in January. Um, uh, yeah, that movie I wanted to get, and I um, can't think of the other one that I wanted that I didn't get this year as well. Um, but if I think about it, I'll maybe do a after Christmas update video of what I got uh, to add to the collection. But that's it. Um, this is Movie Edge signing off. This has been my Christmas movie collection. That's right. And remember, movies are your best entertainment, especially holiday movies. Yeah. So, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all those things that happen around this time of year. All right. Catch you next time, people. Take care.